tonight on our great, great American panel. He, the former mayor of the great city of Providence, he currently hosts his own radio program. It's called The Buddy Cianci Show. He is the author of Politics and Pasta, even though he's lost weight. Vincent, <laughs> Buddy Cianci is back. He is an internationally recognized expert in investment wealth ma management. Ed Butowski is here, and she, a professor of political science and law at Vanderbilt University, author of uh, Be the People and political analyst carol swing congratulations on the success of your book it's uh, good to see you and yours a while ago you're old yeah we're still there though it's still on the market <laughs> you can <laughs> still buy it <laughs> i don't know that that's always true by the way you, you um uh, i don't know if i should mention my name a good friend of mine and a reporter here at the network sent me a note about an issue you're involved in at vanderbilt that's pretty interesting good tell um could we save that <laughs> i'm not allowed to talk about it tonight <laughs> no <laughs> okay, now moving on uh, to the debate that the took place last night. Right. What did you think of the debate? Well, I thought it was more of the same. I thought uh, Perry did a lot of damage to himself. I think it's going to dry up some money from him. It's going to get people to donate more money maybe to Romney, who apparently was the star last evening. But I also think that maybe some of these people who were second tier may move up. Because, you know, because, you know, Bachman and the others. But I still think that... I think Bachman, Santorum, you got, uh, they Newt, all got shots. I thought, Herman Cain had, I thought they all had good nights. Yeah, they did have, Santorum especially. But, you know, uh, Obama's numbers are terrible, but the fact of the matter is you've got to beat him with somebody. And I said, uh, you know, always said that Romney used to look to me, anyway, like the banker who uh, turned your loan down. Mm -hmm. And the other guy there, uh, Perry, he looked like the guy Columbo used to chase around on Sunday nights on television. But now maybe the, you know. Well, how do you describe yourself, C.A.? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, well, I'm not running for president, Sean. <laughs> you, know? you were the mayor. I, was, I lived there when you were yeah, mayor. Yeah, right. But, but what I thought it was a good night for Perry. I thought it was, I mean, a good night for Romney, a terrible night for Perry. All right, but is, it, is, it, is it the problem? Oh, let me, let me, let me, let's go to some of the issues on immigration, because we saw Fra uh, Frank Luntz's focus group kind of shocked me tonight. It was so strongly against Perry. Right. Is it that the, it's the issue of immigration, um, or is it the way he said it? Let's, let's roll some of the tape. If you say that we should not educate children who have come into our state for no other uh, reason than they've been brought there by no fault of their own, I don't think you have a heart. The magnet draws people into this country to get that education, to get the $100,000 break. I would not allow taxpayer-funded benefits for illegal aliens or for their children. No free education, no free subsidies, no citizenship, no birthright citizenship. Yeah, go ahead, whatever, either one. It was like he was channeling the liberal left. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I mean, I think that worked against him. But the About American not having a heart if you disagreed? Yes. <laughs> and I think the American people, we, I mean, we're all suffering in some ways. And uh, it, 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 it just didn't pass yeah. the test. I mean, Sean, what I, what I think it was the optics, okay? I mean, basically, people are very against, in a lot of ways, illegal immigration. And now here he is saying that you don't have a heart if you're not going to let these kids go to the University of Texas. I mean, he's forgetting the fact that we might not even want them in this country to begin with, let alone pay for their college education. It, uh, he, the argument goes, and I think we ought to just follow the law. The law is a law. That's you right. know, uh, I think the first thing you got to do is stop illegal immigration. Then we can deal with the issue of people here illegally. Right. But the argument goes, right. politically speaking, if the Republicans you know, do this, it's going to hurt the, them know, with the Hispanic vote. You know, Sean, the, the greatest thing that what, what uh, Perry did yesterday was, was, the right, was the wrong thing to do if you're running in a Republican primary or you're running for a Republican nomination. Uh, Romney obviously said the right thing if you were going to run for the Republican presidency. My state, Rhode Island, just right now, the Board of Governors of Higher Education passed in-state tuition. For, for, illegal. For, for illegal immigrants. What do you think, Carol, Carol? You want to one thing? I think the American well, the committee did. Let me put it that way. Immigration pass laws uh, enforce, and that they're not in a mood uh, to support candidates that are trying to make it a non-issue. And we don't know how many are actually here. The government says 12 million. It could be 18 million. Could be 24 million. It's a lot more than the government. But, you know, but is this hate. just one debate, though, or is there irreparable harm here? Because I, th I think I think there's tremendous damage here. I mean, he is supposed to be the most conservative on the whole, you know, uh, the whole debate, and he really just, you know, stepped in it. He doesn't right. look like he is a conservative. Uh, in no, he doesn't look at it at all. I mean, he doesn't look like that one bit. Those, great panels. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.